Hi Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Rising, and Capricorn Moon. Welcome to your Tarot Video Scope for May 2018 by AMA. This recording will be for Capricorn again. But please also remember that you also need to listen for your rising sign and for your moon sign. I will also be uploading a whole new reading for those of you who are interested to know more. And the new reading will be uh, has a link right down here below in the show more description box. This link down here will be will take you to the Vimeo videos for download and purchase. I will be opening three more additional cards from different tarot decks and I will see what other messages will show up for you. If you'd like to schedule a private consultation, please email me at amalightworker at gmail.com. You may also contact me through my website amalightworker.com. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and for stopping by. It means a lot to me. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. When you subscribe, please remember that you also need to turn on the little bell right here, bell icon next to the subscribe. That's the notification bar, and it will notify you each and every time that I upload special videos just like this one, and you also get to set your own uh, preference. Uh, and that will help you because I will be doing a live Akashic streaming and you may like to be notified about that. From now on, I'm going to be doing a live Akashic streaming for each and every sign of the Zodiac uh, for each mid-month. So stay tuned for the live Akashic reading for the mid-month of May 2018. Now allow me to focus on this reading today for you. These are the three cards that wanted to show up for you in this uh, reading. The general feelings have to deal with... Uh, I'm going to deal with the general feelings first and then I'm going to break it down one by one. They have to deal with having to make important choices or decisions. Uh, you may have to deal with some news or information that could be coming out of the blue or maybe showing up for you as a uh, surprise. For some of you, it is about important documents, signing of contracts, an important deal. Uh, you could be having some sudden opportunity that could be opening up for you. For some of you, this is some opportunity that has to deal with your uh, marriage or with your home and family uh, life. For other ones, it is about money and business. For other ones, there could be some opportunity opening up for you in a love related uh, sense and I also keep getting a sense that emotionally or spiritually you are going to be in a different um, in a different uh, place for some of you it is about maybe attending a spiritual retreat there is an important travel or arrangements uh, for a travel for some of you it could be about a spiritual retreat or, or about an important uh, move or even about a uh, relocation and finding a new uh, home and it, there's also some there's also something tricky, even though generally uh, all of these three cards that did show up for you are good cards. I also keep getting a sense that you may have to deal with situations that are false, people who are false or not authentic, or some situation that requires uh, clarification because you need to be smart and you need to uh, deal with information, misinformation, the truth, or uh, lies. Now, allow me to break it down one by one. The first card that showed up, it is the Judgment card. To me, it means, what is the proclamation? What do we think about uh, this? It means that you have been doing the same thing, therefore you keep getting the same results. That means that uh, the path that you have chosen is the right one. Please continue, but a change in the course of action is needed and sometimes it is also about changing your uh, attitude this card to me also means a new personal relationship a new business venture a new business partnership 
uh, when you get this card, it also means that you're going to get beneficial help, uh, improved conditions into a situation, a change in habit and in purpose. So it means that uh, whatever is happening, you are going to have improvement in a situation that you may be struggling with. And it also means that the angels are going to intervene by giving you uh, uh, by giving you some proven in the situation or by sending helpful information or helpful people your way. I keep getting a sense that for some of you, it feels like in some ways you may be having a dilemma. You may be seeking answers. You could be talking to um, someone you know whose opinion you trust about uh, some personal matters. It could also be about your past because for some of you, I keep getting some sort of a deep reflection onto matters of the past, your own past um and about the new path that lays ahead of you but there is a lot of thinking about the past or something that happened in the past you could be coming with with questions or maybe you need to have a deep conversation with a family member or with uh, a friend you may be consulting with people in a position of power or people who are an expert in some ways because you may need their opinion or their judgment in order for you to make a decision or to resolve a situation. If you have, um, um, you could be consulting a psychologist, you could be consulting um, um, uh, an astrologer, you may be consulting a tarot reader, you could be doing an Akashic uh, reading. Uh, if it is a, a matter that involves uh, an inheritance, real estate, uh, moving, you may be uh, consulting a real estate agent, an accountant, uh, a lawyer. For some of you, I also keep getting family counseling is also coming uh, forward. Um, so you could be needing some assistance with some technological stuff. Again, you could be talking with somebody to help you with some technological stuff uh, as well. So the situation will be different for different uh, Capricorns. Please do not rush in any judgments right away. If a new situation presents itself to you, could be a new situation with uh, work or business, I keep getting a sense that you don't have to dismiss it right away, but you don't have to accept it right away. For some of you, you need to carefully examine everything thoroughly, thoroughly financially, what else is involved. Some of you may also have to deal with some uh, bizarre news or bizarre email. Um, you may also be questioning the authenticity of something. So you need to be very careful with what is presented uh, to you and you have to examine it from, you know, the positive aspect and the negative aspect and you have to examine the authenticity uh, of it. Somebody may be coming to you with some surprise announcement. This could be a child. Uh, you may have some pleasant surprises uh, coming to you from your children or something good may be happening in their life and you are quite going to be getting a surprise. For our Capricorns, this could be a surprise about something that is happening. Um, you may be getting a surprise of your own Maybe not right away in May, but sometime this year, some of your Capricorns could be getting, uh, you. it's going to be like a surprise, almost like a shock. Could be about a surprise pregnancy as well. So again, this may be happening to you or to somebody around you. It doesn't have to happen right away in May. It could be happening sometime later in the year. But some of you are going to have a situation with a surprise um, uh, pregnancy. If there was a situation involving a family, 
a home, uh, um, a real estate. I keep getting a sense that something you are going to deal with some new development maybe the family will gather together to uh look over a situation and it could be about moving buying or it could also be about an inheritance or a possible inheritance for some of you i keep getting the sense of family coming together to have an important uh, conversation uh, about that because there's going to be some new developments the next card that you have is the Six of Wands. Um, so if it represents, a per, uh, usually a Wands represents an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. And I don't know why, but I keep getting right, uh, right away that there could be um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius in your life. And I feel that this person may be facilitating something happening for uh, you. Normally, I wouldn't get that uh, message. So, the Six of Wands, to me, it means triumph, victory, success, uh, achievement, adoration, occasion to celebrate, but it will be short-lived because the work must continue. However, Please savior the moment, so don't forget to savior the moment. To me personally, it also uh, means a marriage or travel. So now allow me to focus and let me figure out what does it mean for you. You could be presented, and this may be coming to you by surprise, uh, a proposal about a business or a business venture and it may just be about joining forces like a partnership with someone else it could also be like let's buy a home together or let's buy a property uh, together I feel that for some of you you did put a lot of energy into your work your career and I keep getting a sense that you have been establishing a good reputation in your profession or in your workplace. There's a sense that um, your fame or your reputation could be growing more. You could be dealing with you could be dealing with something being presented to you. It could be about a new job, a new new job position. It could be about a raise. But I keep getting a sense that opportunities will be opening up for you. If you are looking for a job, this could also be opportunities for you to find a uh, job. Someone that has a connection to your past maybe returning to you in some ways maybe they need to bring you some important information or some news it does not feel like an ex-lover it does feel like a relative a distant relative or a friend but in some ways uh, you could be um uh, uh, it is about somebody from your uh from your past someone will have an offer for you so if you will maybe uh, maybe you're uh maybe you're trying to sell a home or a property you're expecting an offer and now you get that offer you could also be having some uh surprise proposals in a love related sense or surprisingly when you least expect it, you yourself may be finding yourself being very much interested in somebody else and maybe you are not even looking for uh, love. There is a situation, they're telling me to put these two cards together, there is a situation for other Capricorns because they're telling me they're telling me like you have been thinking for a while, you have been thinking for a while, what's the proclamation, you have examined everything, you tried your best and uh, now it's time for you to face either a breakup or separation or a divorce 
And if that is your goal, if, that, if this is what you wish for, I keep getting you are going to be having some sort of a good news in regards to that. For some of you, maybe you already started some proceedings in regards to a separation or a divorce, and now you could be receiving some good news uh, about uh, that. The next card that you have is the Two of Hearts from a different tarot deck. So the name of the card is Palace of the Great Priest. The meaning of the card is the house we dwell on is our body. We must respect and take care of our body, but we also must respect and take care of our thoughts and the place we live in. The place that we live in needs to be a place of relaxation, a place when we can charge our batteries, a place of harmony with your loved ones, with people with whom you live with. Any places that are in, uh, uh, dis, uh, in disharmony with your soul are going to become prisons. You're going to feel like your soul is in prison. You're going to feel stuck. Um, or if it's not clean, if it's not taken uh, care of properly, it may also be uh, the source of a disease in the habitat. Remember, I'm just saying the, uh, the meaning of uh, uh, the, uh, the card before I tune in uh, into the messages. So, and the advice is you need to feel places with good energy and now that you know how good energy feels, try to adapt that into a new uh, home. And a sacred space doesn't have to necessarily be a religious uh, institution. Um, a sacred place is a place that makes you feel happy and in harmony with the other people uh, who share the same uh, place. So it's also about you visiting places that make you happy. Now allow me to tune in and let me figure out psychically what does it uh, mean. Moving into a new home for some of you uh, feels like a big stretch or feels a little bit difficult. It does feel that maybe it recently happened for some of you, but you emotionally, maybe you are, you still need to adapt to the new place, or it just was, it was a little bit hard for you to let go. For other Capricorns, it is about letting go uh, in other ways for other reasons, but there is a portion or there is some energy that goes around when you need, really need to learn how to let go. It could be emotionally, spiritually, or even um, mentally and energetically. I keep getting a sense that some of you could be going into a spiritual retreat. You may be attending a fair or a psychic fair. Uh, maybe you haven't been, whatever your faith is, is if you're Christian, maybe you haven't been in church for, for a while, you may be going uh, back to church for some ceremony or for some services. Uh, so you could be going back to a house of prayer and a uh, workshop. It feels that for some of you, you are looking to balance your life and you are looking to get some answers and a deeper perspective by looking at your life from a um, spiritual uh, perspective. You have now a new purpose. And if you don't have a new purpose uh, now, it feels like they're telling me very soon. You are going to have a new purpose and your goal because some of you need to be uh, ready to welcome some changes. If you have been struggling a little bit physically, maybe you had some discomfort, you may find yourself in May, maybe your body's energy uh, has shifted, you had like uh, uh, moments when your body's energy was high and then low. Um, I does feel that either you are going to find a solution, you are going to find an answer, what's the cause of that, 
some of you are definitely going to address some issues with your health and with your body and you are going to see some improvements be careful on how you express yourself how you uh, uh what words do you uh choose because not everybody is going to understand you or um you're going to have a little bit of a hard time uh, making your point uh, uh, making your point conveying the uh, message across There is a possible relocation for some of you. This could be a new home and you're getting ready to move into this new home or maybe recently you did and you are still you know, fixing up the place, adopting it and adjusting. But I also keep getting the place that for some of you, a bigger happiness awaits for you if you just allow it to happen. You need to be a little bit more open towards new people, new love, new opportunities. And it is also about sometimes you may need to find courage from within to face um, to face a person, to face maybe a relationship that has gone bad. Um, and not to be influenced by people. So anything that you need to be doing in May, it needs to come from you without you having to feel judged, pushed, or influenced by other people. For some of you, I do feel that maybe not right now, but in a hard time of 12 months, you could be finding yourself in a new home, maybe in a new country or a new state with a new uh, job. So a year from now, there's going to be some big change changes in your life overall you are totally going to find your place yourself in totally a new place uh even even emotionally even in a new place in your uh life you could be attending a uh wedding because this is a house of uh, prayer and this card also represents marriage and travel. You may be traveling to attend uh, a uh, wedding and you may be hearing news of a uh, wedding. For some of you, toward the end of the month, you are going to feel in some ways that emotionally you have come home. But also remember that astrologically, this will be an important month. Mars will be going retrograde. Uranus is going to change signs. It's going to go in the, uh, in the sign of Taurus. So um, maybe that's why for some reason you may not feel at home emotionally or spiritually, but you will start to feel at home emotionally and spiritually and for most of you uh the end of the month or toward the end of the month is very much uh highlighted for some of you i keep getting you may also be changing religions or changing your spiritual and religious point of view um you may be attending conferences networking uh events it could be courses about spiritual development or personal uh development but that spiritual journey and you growing spiritually um it's coming uh forward please pay attention to your dreams and i did get this message also for other signs because for many of you your dreams are going to be very much highlighted your intuition is going to be very much highlighted and you may also find yourself you may also find that your um your creativity and your fantasy may also be very much uh highlighted they're telling me like your mind is going to be very productive in uh, may 
I hope that these messages made sense to you. Please leave me a comment down here below. If you'd like to know more, click in the link down here below in the show more description box. That's going to take you to the Vimeo videos for download and purchase. Please stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a live Akashic reading for you during the mid-month of May 2018. And if you'd like to schedule your very own private consultation, please email me at amalightworker at gmail.com or visit my website amalightworker.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much, and I will be connecting with you again in the next video.